the following question reads uh, that in this question you should use change in changes in oxidation numbers to balance a chemical equation so uh, the purpose is to balance this chemical equation it's a redox reaction that's given over here now acidified potassium dichromate 6 solution can oxidize the solution of e2 plus science the equation for this reaction is shown, is shown what is the ratio of a and b in the correctly balanced equation so let's start with the first basic thing. I'm going to try and figure out uh, the oxidation states first. So I have uh, Cr2, O7, and it has a charge of 2 minus. So let's, let's try and find the oxidation state. Uh, Cr, if you know how to find the oxidation state, uh, Cr is unknown, so that's x. And there are two Cr's, so that's 2x. Uh, oxygen is minus 2, and there are 7 oxygens. So that's minus 2 multiplied by 7. And the total charge on the ion is minus 2. If you calculate this and solve this, uh, the individual charges must add up to the total charge. You can find the oxidation state of Cr over here, which is x. So solve for x, and x would come out to be, in this case, it's coming out to be, taking minus 14 to the other side, and then dividing by 2, it comes out to be plus 6. Which means that chromium over here is plus 6. Uh, in the next one, vanadium is 2 plus, so that's already provided. So the iron has a charge of 2 plus, so that's already given. Uh, H is plus 1, so that's already provided. Chromium is 3 plus, so that's its oxidation state is also known. And then you have VO3 minus 1, so again you have a molecule. So I'm going to try and find the oxidation state of this uh, iron. Uh, VO3 minus 1, so V is unknown, so that's X. Oxygen is minus 2 and multiplied by 3 because you have a total of 3 oxygens and the total charge is minus 1 which means add them up and make them equal to minus 1 and that is what I'm going to do and if we solve for x bringing minus 6 to the other side plus 6 minus 1 so that's plus 5 so vanadium over here is plus 5 let's move to the next part which is I'm going to try and balance the number of electrons that are gained and that are lost. First thing is if you look at chromium over here it's going from plus 6 and it's going to plus 3 which means uh, plus 6 it's, it's undergoing a change from plus 6 to plus 3 which means it's gaining how many electrons it's gaining a total of 3 electrons so I'm going to write plus 3 electrons. So chromium and I'm talking about one chromium uh, ion in this case. Uh, so one of the chromium ions goes from uh, plus 6 to plus 3, so it's gaining a total of 3 electrons. It's getting reduced. And vanadium is going from 2 plus to plus 5. So that means it's, it's losing a total of 3 electrons. So I need to balance this equation, but I need to be sure uh, that the number of electrons gained and lost are equal. So uh, they appear to be equal. Uh, so I'm going to start balancing it. So there's uh, A is 1, let's keep A as 1, I'm going to put 1, Cr2O7, that would give me, uh, if I balance chromiums, there are 2 chromiums over here, so there should be 2 chromiums on the other side, so D must be, D must be 2. Uh, now that creates an issue because uh, uh, there are 2 chromiums going from plus 6 to plus 3, so that's a total of 6 electrons being gained. Remember, uh, when I did this, uh, when I figured out 3 electrons, I was only talking about 1 chromium. But the equation has two chromiums, and I had, and I have two chromiums on the other side as well to balance it out. So one chromium is gaining three electrons, so two chromiums are gaining a total of six electrons. That means that I would have to multiply uh, vanadium by two as well because the number of electrons that are lost, they should also be six. So there should be two vanadiums on this side and two vanadiums on the other side as well. So now the number of electrons that are being gained and that are being lost, they, they have become equal. And the rest of the thing is, uh, I'll balance the number of uh, oxygens. Uh, I have 1 Cr207, so that's a total of 7 oxygens. Which means I have 6 oxygens over here. So there's, there's supposed to be just 1 oxygen on, in water. So that's 1, F is 1. And let's balance the hydrogens as well. Uh, so there are 2 hydrogens over here, so C should be 2H plus 1. So now the equation looks perfectly balanced. The electrons gain and the electrons that are being lost, they're equal. Plus the number of atoms are equal on both sides as well. Now the question was, what is the ratio of A and B in the correctly balanced equation? So there's one Cr2O7, 
and 2v2 plus in the equation. So it's 1 ratio 2. So the answer is going to be B.